and then I'll be like, all your carbs and protein. Ooh, ooh. Tana, how's improvement season going? A day in the life of a podcast host, bikini competitor, content creator, YouTuber, all of those things that I am. So it's actually 1227, so I am interviewing Miss Casey Samsel Torres. So we're about to do an interview at one on Zoom. So I'm gonna show you my setup, how I do it. I do it through Zoom because I can't meet them in person. And obviously I don't have enough money to go travel to meet them in person yet, but that would be awesome. Um, so I do need to eat. I do have, need to have another meal, meal number three. I need to put on my makeup, some makeup, because I'm gonna record it for YouTube. So I might put on some makeup. I don't have any pants on right now, so I do need to put on some pants. So I wanna show you guys my little setup. So Casey is coming to the podcast today. So I was working on creating like her cover for her episode for Instagram. So I could post this on Instagram and then put this as like the podcast cover. I work on PicMonkey. That's where like I can create all these different things. I love PicMonkey. You do have to pay for it. And then I'm uploading my episodes. So I have Casey's ready, but I just have to record it and get the audio file. And I have all my episodes right here. So where I upload it to. So this is my little setup. And obviously I have a cookie as my mouse pad and then my phone. I will. So what that is, what it's little gonna believe you. And I'm probably gonna take some pre-workout because I'm really like to get talkative. So I like to make sure like I have a lot of energy on my podcast. So I don't wanna not bring the energy and bring the heat on my podcast. So I'm probably gonna slam a pre-workout scoop, um, do something with my face and my hair and makeup. And I'm breaking out a little bit. My skin was clearing up really good, but I just had like a couple little pimples because it's supposed to be that time of the month. I haven't had my period in like a year. So I'm just gonna put that out there. When you're competing at a high level, you get really lean, you lose your cycle. So I really truly have not had it since like last December-ish. So um, yeah, but I still get symptoms. So I will still break out during like the last time of the month and still get like a little extra bitchy. So I'm gonna get ready. So I'm gonna put some hair, makeup, and I'm gonna put some pants on. And I wanted to show you guys what outfit I'm gonna be wearing today because I don't think you should, what? Do you, do you need to go outside? Okay, well, he gets to go outside. Ooh. Okay, so anyway, well, I don't think you need to spend a lot of money to have fitness gear. Fitness gear is so expensive. It is so expensive and I like, you know, fitness gear like anyone else. I love my matching workout sets, but when it's like 50 to 60, sometimes 70, sometimes even $100 for a pair of leggings and like that's too much for me. And then for sports bras, like a $50 sports bra, that should better make my tits look like I just got a fresh boob job. There's this, like you can get the same confidence and feelings out of workout clothes that are significantly cheaper and because i've looked into a lot of this stuff amazon and i work for amazon so a lot of their manufacturers are actually manufacturing the same types of clothes as a name brand so when you buy those name brand things you're literally just buying the label it's not necessarily meaning the quality is there some things yes the quality is there but others, it's just literally you're purchasing it for the name brand label. So because I don't really care about label, I purchase things on Amazon. So I got this workout set, it's called Mood. I haven't tried it on yet, but I know it's gonna fit. It's really cute and so like, it's kind of like Bombshell. Bombshell, I love. If Bombshell could sponsor me and I could wear those clothes, I would love to be sponsored from them, but I can't afford hundred and fifty dollar for one workout set when I can get like 10 on Amazon for like way cheaper so this is like their sports bra like it's kind of weird right now but. okay so this is their sports bra and it has like this mesh detailing which I thought was really pretty and it's called I don't know mood mod streets and I ordered it on Amazon and they come in a matching they had a ma matching pant these kind of look small 
they definitely look really small but like they had the booty contouring like it has booty contouring like up here and then it has pocket has their little logo it has a nice waistband and then like on the legs they have some more um like mesh mesh cut out so i'm gonna wear that because i want to show you guys what that looks like and i will tell you where to buy it on amazon in the description box so i did my makeup and hair really really quick i think i did my makeup really dark it's fine it's it's gonna be fine i don't have time to change but anyway so this is what that workout set looks like it's really cute it's cute and then it has like this little back detailing on the sides i got my slippers and everything so we will be doing that podcast anytime casey just wants to get ready i think she just trained. She was just training, so she's getting ready for the podcast. So I told her, I was like, no worries. Just whenever you're ready, I'm ready. I'm ready to grill ya, see ya. So, yeah, that is what I'm doing. And then I have my little... And I'm going to bring water, and then we're going to take a little scoop of pre-pre. A little pre-pre workout, because I need some artificial energy. I wish I had, like, a energy drink or something steel pump before i record a podcast i gotta have my water and i want to have a lot of energy and a lot of good vibes so we just take pre-workout because i'm probably going to work out after anyway so just take a little fatty scoop just a little scooper we're going to dry scoop it so it hits you faster ready Energy is going to hit in and like mid podcast. So it'll kind of like start slow and then I'll be like, all right, so podcast time. Let's do it. Okay. So we are just waiting for Casey to come on the podcast and I thought I'd show you what I'm having. I'm literally just having some chicken. I didn't want to have vegetables with this meal. I have not been craving vegetables lately. <laughs> But I will probably have extra vegetables for dinner, so don't you worry. I'm just having some ketchup with it because improvement season, you can have condiments and it doesn't really matter. So, yeah. And got my water. Water, chicken, stuff like that. And then later today, we have some cardio. Probably 25 minutes or so. I might go walk on the treadmill at the gym. And it's freezing out, so I can't do cardio outside. Mr. Blue over here. Hi, Blue. Welcome to the YouTube channel. Um, do you like chicken? Sit down. No. Be gentle. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, he loves chicken probably more than me. And let's see Mr. Bud. Oh, hi, Bud. Old man Jenkins. Oh, okay. Yep. Good job. Good job. Tell the YouTube that you love chicken, too. And that they should get their chicken show protein in blue could you sit down can you tell youtube that they need to get their protein in can you speak <laughs> okay good yeah get your get your get your protein in and i also like to shout out to kimberly because she got me into using baby spoons or baby forks so you eat slower and it's a lot more fun because competitor meals are small and this makes you take slower bites and eat slower. Wait, I got a body scan done at my gym. So I wanna see if I can show you guys what that looks like. Okay, this is me in an avatar form. Isn't that fucking crazy? What the fuck? I literally look so fat. <laughs> like, look at my stomach and I have no butt, literally no butt. It's so weird to see myself like this. Yeah, so like you can get this done. I am um, Crunch Fitness in Lawrence, so that's where I go to the gym. But this is just really eye-opening to see yourself objectively without any, like, brain, like, literally, like, an avatar. Like, I can just literally see where I need to make improvements. Like, my waistline needs to come in. I can see I carry my fat right here. My butt looks so small. I need my hamstrings to be better. Like, I need my shoulders to be more capped, lats to be bigger. Like, it's just crazy. Like, calves, everything. It's so wild. And that was my butt. There's literally nothing. So like seeing myself like this, um, like I 
definitely want the, my shoulders to have more of a taper. And as I get leaner, it'll be a lot easier. So I'm gonna do another scan in a couple of weeks. Um, and then the taper to come in, like I really want this to be dramatic. I don't like this right here. That's where I carry literally all my body fat and I want to have more side glutes and roundness and I wanna be able to see the definition in my hamstrings. I did do this scan in leggings, so that's probably why it looks like I have no butt. Um, but I'm pretty straight up and down like this needs to be way more dramatic. It's kind of cool. Same thing with this, like you can tell um, I'm carrying a lot of body fat in my stomach. You can just see there's no abs. Same thing right here. I need some more definition. Um, but yeah, got to be dramatic waistline and some chiseled. BRB just stalking you, Casey, if you watch this video. Okay. Look at, like, is she not perfect or what? Like, this is the most beautiful dress and, like, she has no waist and she's just so pretty. Holy shit. Glutes popping. Wow. Symmetrical. Wow. Wow. Part of my homework for my podcast is actually to stalk whoever's coming online, um, like their mm. social medias, so I can get any information out of them that I need. Yeah. So I try to look at their social medias and see what's going on in their life to see if there's anything that they have been talking about on their like post or anything like that. And yeah, so I'm gonna listen to some music for a little bit and then we're gonna record a podcast. Good morning. It's my motherfucking birthday. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. I'm 25 today. Shit. It's six in the morning. It's six in the morning. My boyfriend's sleeping. I'm making fish. This is what 25. Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I It's literally snowing outside It's literally snowing outside And it's freezing cold outside So I gotta get dressed It's January 17th. My birthday was on Friday. So now I'm 25 years old. I had a really good birthday. It was fun. We had some cupcakes and I had some wine with my family and had a really good meal. Yesterday I got my hair dyed. So I have new color. I look really tired, but it's fine. So I'm here to vlog to you guys about meal prepping. I really haven't been vlogging. So it's one of my goals for 2021 to do more vlogs. So I'm going to take you guys along for today's vlog meal prep. Um, just give you guys an idea of like what I'm eating in improvement season pretty much the same shit different day But here's what we got going on. Okay, so I got some veggies and We're working up on some veggies. I had some frozen veggie leftovers. So I'm putting all those there We got some meal prep containers. So I will this is literally how many meals I eat every single day y'all That's a lot of freaking meals so we got some green beans in the microwave we got some asparagus and broccoli. About to cook those. And then let's see what's in the good old fridge. So what do you what do you guys think that we're we're eating? Chicken. Got a big ass pack of chicken. What else? This is like the basicest bodybuilder food ever. And let's see. We got strawberries and blueberries for post-workout. I just wanted to get all my meals ready this week because the last couple of weeks I really have not been like making them in bulk. I've just been making them like the night or morning. In the morning, like I would just get up in the morning and just cook some chicken or cook some fish or whatever I'm making and just like make them that morning. And like it just takes a long time and so then I'd be late to the gym and it would be like a whole thing. So now I'm just gonna be making it on Sundays like I used to do and getting into that habit again. Then I got some tilapia that we'll probably cook later. And what else did I do? I got some rice cakes, some high carbs. I'm gonna have 
So it looks like protein this week is gonna be chicken or ground turkey. Vegetables is gonna be either spinach, green beans, asparagus, or broccoli, and then the carbs, carby carbs, which I get every single day. Ugh. I have rice cake. Yeah, so I got some rice. I got cream of rice, so I'm probably gonna just like mix it up every day and just do a little bit of rice, rice cakes, cream of rice, and oh, my favorite. This is, you guys, if you know me, there's nothing I crave more in the whole entire world than some dank ass oatmeal with protein in it. Oh my God. So you make your oatmeal, right? Put it in a bowl, put a little bit of water, mix it, put it in the microwave for a few minutes. Then once it's hot, you can put some protein in it, like some chocolate protein or some peanut butter protein powder. And then you mix it, and then it's warm and gooey and ooey chocolatey oats with protein in them. You're getting all your carbs and protein. Ooh, ooh. That is going to be my before workout meal, post workout. Normally, we're doing fruit and some protein powder. So, going to mix it up. I'm going to make all my meals today. I will show you guys once I'm done. Um, this is what I've been doing. I've been doing a lot of writing things down. I think writing things down is really beneficial. You just gotta write things down. Thing ever vitamin container from Amazon AM PM. So I'm gonna fill these up with some of my vitamins. Get my vitamins all ready for the week. Um, I think I left my gallon in my car and it's kind of cold outside. So I really hope it didn't freeze. So I'm gonna have to go get that. My dogs are having a good time. They're outside chilling. I probably should let them in. Oh, great. They're eating trash. Hey! Oh my god. You guys, literally, I love my dogs to death, but they are so fucking bad. Oh, did you think it was a good idea to eat all the trash? Oh, bud, I caught you red-handed. Who opened the trash? Yeah. So he must have grabbed the trash from the back of our golf cart that we keep all the trash because we have to take it down our driveway all the way fucking down there. So I gotta clean that up, so that's fucking awesome. Hey, you little shitheads. Yeah, I know it was you. I know you did it. Well, just another day in the life of a dog mom. Oh, and I, I forgot to tell you guys, this is the flowers that I got, my boyfriend got me flowers for my birthday and then a gift certificate to go get a massage. And the massage place is not open until 11, it's 9.28 right now, so I'll probably call them later to see if they can get me in for a little massage because I'm really sore. I got 45 minutes of cardio today, so once I get all my meals prepped, I wanted to record this video try to get it edited try to get that up and then go to the cardio place the gym the jimmy and then try to maybe take some pictures for instagram for the week or something because i've been slacking i really haven't done shit maybe i'll record something at the gym but yeah like we'll have we'll have to have a i'm gonna put this in a different video about my feelings because i haven't been feeling so good guys like I've been really like, I wouldn't say depressed, but like not happy. I've been just like doubting myself. Oh, go outside. If you're gonna fucking puke, go, no. All right. Okay, my dog's puking now. So I'm gonna go take care of this. See you in a bit. All right, so it's like 11, so it's been a couple hours, but I wanna show you guys my meal prep. So chicken just got hot and fresh out of the oven. We got some chicken breasts breasticles and then we got some oatmeal and green beans and some ground turkey and then I got some rice cakes and green beans and then we got some spinach over there here and then we got a lot of fucking dishes and then we got some stuff that needs to have some meat in there we got some rice some asparagus we got some rice cakes and spinach we got some broccoli that I kind of burnt a little bit because I forgot it was in the air fryer oops then we got some frozen vegetables and they all need some meats Got all my vitamins all ready to go, and I got some fruit I'm about to cut up. Got my water, I have not drank any of that. Do 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 do. Mine's ready, my meal preps are almost ready for the day. It's almost time for another meal, and then I'm gonna call and see if I can get a massage 
and I the, need a massage. So I'm gonna see if they have that open today. Then we're probably gonna go do a massage, do a little cardio and have a wonderful day. And then I have to do laundry and dishes. So this is just like the reality of fucking fitness influencer life. I still have to cook my own meals. I wanna partner with a meal prep company, but it's so expensive, like, like six to nine dollars to ten sometimes ten dollars for some of the meal prep companies and i can make all of this for two dollars a meal sometimes a dollar a meal keep that in mind um eating healthy is not expensive so we are going to finish meal prepping and then that's really it and then i'll do a different video to update you guys on my mental state where i'm at and give you some tips and tricks on how to stay motivated during your improvement season okay so i thought i'd maybe end the vlog right here i'm a hot mess but i just got a massage and i wanted to give a message to you that we stress out so much literally it took for me to get a full body massage to realize how much my body was under stress and I didn't even notice it. I just go through my day, you know, blah, 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 stress in here, stress in there, stress in everywhere. And then just, I took that hour to myself and like, sometimes you just need to check in with your body to make sure that you're okay. And I was stressed all over. I was holding tension in my shoulders and my back and my legs and everything. And you just need to sometimes just like, Take a deep breath, chill, check in with your body, make sure you're stretching, just like really, I don't know, check in with yourself and just like like feeling yourself like, am I stressed out? Maybe you don't realize you're under a lot of stress, but you might be under some stress. So treat yourself, get a massage, do rest, recovery, things like that. I just feel so good right now. I feel like my body and soul needed that. So I'm very happy, I feel so good. I'm about to finish the night with a meal um new chicken oatmeal and some vegetables i'm just gonna have that as my last meal for today and i hope you guys have a wonderful day hope you enjoyed this little meal prepping sav life of sav vlog it's not really that exciting in improvement season to be honest like i really like to take this time off to like calm down and chill and rest um, because prep is just so intense. Prep is just like another animal. So, I love you guys, and I will see you in the next one. What's up, guys? So, today is Monday. It's MLK Day, and I have the day off. I just wanted to show you this workout set. It is so freaking cute, and it's from Amazon. If you guys know me, I get a lot of my fitness wear from Amazon because I don't think you should pay a lot of monies for that fitness gear because there's the same quality of products that is probably literally made at the same manufacturing place as these top name brands. They just don't have any logos on it and they're from China. So this is an outfit. Um, it's like, doesn't have a brand, but it's super cute and it has like so many cute little things. And my favorite part is the top. So the top has these like little holes. They're like breathing holes. And this is all like one part. It has like a little peekaboo boob. And then they have like holes throughout. So it's super breathable. Super cute. Regular back. And then like the legs have holes. Almost like rider wear kind of stuff. They have like holes down the whole side. They got a little bit of like contouring throughout. They got booty contouring, it's a tight waist, it's snatched. Anyway, I cleaned my house and me and my friend are working on some project business stuff that I can't tell you about, but I'm gonna tell you that I can't tell you. And I wanted to show you one of my prep strategies that I just ordered from Amazon. But Badow! This is the carb cabinet. This is where all the carbs are. This is where I'm not supposed to go in, okay? So my boyfriend is obviously not a competitor. So what does that mean for my household? There's gonna be a time where he has a bunch of non-prep friendly stuff that I really want and I crave that I cannot have. So what I did, I was like, this year, 2021, no excuses, no bites, no extras, no nothings. I got a carb cabinet, this baby lock. So I can obviously get in, get out, but okay. Sometimes I'll wake up, can't sleep, you know, prep your stress. 
3 a.m. I'll come to the cabinet. I'll open the cabinet. Not even hungry. It's literally 3 in the morning. And I'll just take a bite. Go. I don't know. It's stuff like I'm not even hungry for. I'll be like, let me get a cashew. I don't even like cashews. Like, let me get a an almond. It's just random stuff. It's not like I'm going ham in this cabinet. But I just want to have it so that he can have all this stuff. I don't have to worry about it at night we're just gonna lock it closed and it's gonna be an indicator to my brain that I'm done eating for the night I don't need anything in there I can't get into it it's not for me if I have any cravings my strategy is to go to my tea corner so if I come it's the middle of the night it's 3 a.m. I'm hungry I'm in prep I'm like give me some carbs and then it's locked I'll be like okay we gotta be good and then I'm gonna come over here to my little tea cabinet. So if I'm really hungry, this is my strategy. It's gonna have, I'm gonna have a tea. So it's important to have strategy set up in place. So when you are hungry, you're not just like going in without a plan. So my game plan is now to have a lock. And then I did get one for the fridge too. I know this is probably like some of you might be seeing this and be like, Sav, that's not like healthy. You're not having like a healthy relationship with food. I beg to differ. I think I'm making strategies that are going to work for me. So it's going to work for me. Maybe it's going to work for you. I put a baby lock here on the fridge. Sometimes we eat because we're bored. And especially in the improvement season right now, I'm sometimes I get the urge to eat when I'm bored and I'm not even hungry. So this is just going to be like a mental indicator that unless it's mealtime, I don't need anything in there. I don't need to keep looking. There isn't anything in there for me. Maybe you want the same strategy. Maybe you can tag me if you think this is a good idea, a bad idea. I don't care, but I'm going to try something because if I'm going to be great this year, if I'm going to be a pro, there's going to be no excuses. I'm not making excuses. I'm going to literally be on the plan, follow the plan, be on the diet in the improvement season, drinking my water, hitting gains, hitting goals, doing all the things that you're supposed to be doing. And if I do that, there's no reason why I can't have the outcome that I'm wanting for, or at least just be on stage with no regrets. So I gotta go work out. I'll see you later. I just wanted to give you guys a little update on this outfit and um, my little necklace. So I really have like an obsession with stars. Um, a lot of my Instagram posts, I push stars every single time I post and I got this necklace on Amazon and it's a wish necklace. So you, I put a wish on it and then you like put it in the necklace and then it should come true. So if you guys might know what I'm wishing for this year, I put it on this necklace as a star, as a reminder that I can believe, you know, shoot for the, mo shoot for the, moon and if you miss you might hit a star or like I'm a star or like I'm gonna be a star I'm gonna be an IFP pro like I have this goal and I'm gonna be a shining star and yeah so and I think it was really cute too so whatever and I like stars so love you guys I will see you after this workout I have a hit workout I'm probably not gonna take you because I have to actually focus on my goals sorry about it sorry Two o'clock, this is my favorite time to work out because no one's there and I already had like two or three meals. So, gonna be a good workout. I'll see you guys in the next video clip. Guys, it has been a while and I haven't recorded in a long time and I literally don't even know what video clip was before this, but I just wanna take you through my day today. Let's do it. I got morning, it's nine, I slept in today. I just was really tired from the week. And I got some oatmeal with some protein going down, meal one. And we're gonna be doing a before and after home gym tour because I got a freaking treadmill. Blah. So I'll tell you guys about my treadmill story in just a minute. But I'm really excited to be back on YouTube and I'm gonna be doing this more consistently because I miss you guys on YouTube. My hair is a mess because I literally just woke up. But I'll see you guys after I have my first meal and we will show you the gym. Okay, what's up? I'm a little bit more presentable. Today is just like a hat day. I woke up my hair was just literally a mess, so today is a hat day. Steel fit, um, code Savannah S if you wanna save an extra little like 10% off, whatever. Um, okay, so I'm gonna take you guys on a home gym tour. Home gym tour, home gym tour. And it's not what you're thinking. It's not like the best home gym you've ever seen, but this is a before. This is before I put anything into it. So this is my basement and it's my home gym. So we're walking down. They just recently finished it. So 
Um, it's concrete walls, and then they painted the floor this gray. I still have this box. This is a treadmill box, but it's like a little room, so we're going into it. There's this little ledge, so I guess you could put like a TV if you wanted. Um, I'm probably gonna put like mirrors or like a cool little sign or poster, and everything is literally white. The flooring is gray, and then there's my freaking treadmill, you guys. And then everything's white, literally white. And here's my beautiful treadmill. So this is a lifespan, lifespan. The reason why I got a lifespan treadmill is because um, I've been looking for treadmills. It's not like a mainstream treadmill. I was trying to find a treadmill that was new that had a uh, incline up to 10 per, I think incline up to 10% and then it had speed of at least 10 to 12 miles an hour. I wish it was faster, but for the price, I got it for like $6.99 for a new treadmill with an incline with the speed and that's really hard to find. So I did get it, I'm not, it's not sponsored. I freaking wish it was sponsored. But I have to tell you guys a story about that, about my treadmill at a later time. Just remind me later today to tell you guys, but I have a few ideas for what I want it to look like in here. So this is the before, it's just literally white. Um, I'm gonna bring a speaker down here and I could probably put the speaker on the floor, but it's pretty big. Um, it's not like huge in here. It's not like super big, but everything on the wall is white. So I was thinking that I could get like statement wall pieces. I was gonna go to Walmart and see if they have really like cheap maybe Christmas lights that are discounted or some type of cool like LED lights or just like a statement wall. So maybe like a tapestry or curtains or something like, I have no idea what's gonna happen into this room. Maybe some of those like stickers that are like motivational sayings or something. So we're gonna see what I find, but I'm really excited. So this is my before. This is the before. So nothing on this wall. Here's my little treadmill. Sad little treadmill. She's she's beautiful. I think we named her Chancy. Chauncey. Her name is Chauncey. Look at her. This is like her little head and her little arms and her little legs. So cute. Maybe a statement wall because I'm thinking I can do my posing down here. And something like that. And I gotta take this out. So I'm gonna take this outside and then we're gonna go to the store. Yeah, so I'm about to take that extra little cardboard boxes outside get them out of my gym and then we're gonna run to walmart and have a wonderful day so i'm excited this is a fun vlog and then what else is happening today today is saturday um cheese play tomorrow just important things uh i have an interview for cupcakes and protein shakes tonight and then we're doing girls weekend with my BFF, Miss Kimberly, um, next, next weekend. So I'm really excited for that. What is up guys? So we're gonna do like a random style vlog, but it's gonna be a little meal prepping so you guys can see what I eat in improvement season. Um, yeah, pretty exciting here. Um, Hannah, how's improvement season going? it feels like you've got a bag on your head sometimes I feel fat most days I wake up and I'm like damn girl look at that physique in the mirror and it's like it all jiggles I did a jiggle test the other day where I was in the mirror looking on my physique I just started to bounce up and down to see what part of me jiggled and I am happy to report everywhere everywhere jiggled so yeah um it's gonna be a long road to pro i got a lot of weight to lose y'all i kind of got thick i did all the things you're not supposed to do post show i rebounded hard i gained a bunch of weight really quickly um i wasn't on my diet no sorry i was not i was eating cookies and they were very good but it's instant regrets because um, my body doesn't really do well with like normal food after it's been 
eating really strict for a long time. I don't think anyone does. And then I was just like, it's improvement season. I can eat like normal and normal people eat five cookies a day. So yeah, now I'm trying to prep before the prep to lose a little bit of weight before we start prep. So prep's not so hard, but it's hard for me because I want to eat everything. I'm always hungry. I'm literally hungry all the time, but it's not what you think. It's not like, oh, grilled chicken sounds so good. It's like, you know what sounds really good right now? A cookie. Mm, yeah, that does sound good all the time. Or, you know, a cake or an ice cream. I don't crave food. Like, I don't crave burgers and pancakes and I, pancakes, that was random. Burgers and pancakes and pasta and pizza. I don't crave that. I crave sweets. Like, there's nothing else I want to do more than go to the grocery store and the bakery aisle and eat everything there. They have the little donuts, they got cupcakes, they got little mini cakes and little mini brownies. They got cookies. All that, I want to eat. All the time. There's never a wrong time to have cookies, but you, you have to stay on your diet. That's the hardest part for me is to differenti differentiating improvement season dieting diet versus prep because really it shouldn't change like I really shouldn't struggle as much as I do and I shouldn't let myself have like extras but I did and now I'm fat <clears throat> yeah you can even tell on my face like well I had really bad diet face and you can just tell look at these little cheeks these are fat cheeks I've been eating good in the neighborhood and this is what happens when you eat good you just get fat <laughs> I'm, you're probably gonna watch this and be like, oh my God, I wish I could still have your improvement physique. Mm -hmm. But I just have higher standards for myself and I know that I can have a better body than what I currently do. So that's why, you know, it's a little bit hard right now. I'm in a very weird mental state just because I'm not comfortable with my physique right now. So we'll have to get it back. But that ass is fat. It is actually full of body fat. That's literally, I carry all of my body fat here to like my hamstrings. That's where it's at. It's muffin top area. It's not abs anymore. It's flub. But anyway, let's get back to the video topic for today. So today we'll be doing a little meal prepping action. I'm actually halfway done, so I just have to prep some fruit. And I guess we'll show you guys once it's all pretty and made together. I'll show you what we're having. Even the skies fall 